Hey guys, it's Paul. I want to quickly show you the HubSpot business card scanner and how it works, right? I'm going to try and do this for you. It was a bit awkward doing it. So open your HubSpot app, go down the bottom right hand corner and click more, and you'll see business card scanner. So obviously when you meet somebody, they're going to present their business card, right? Let me try and let me try and do this and get my fingers out of the way. So there's my old business card. So I'm going to it says detecting. I'll give it a second. I'm not sure if it will pick this brown one up on this light. So it hasn't detected. So I'm just going to click done, right? And then I'm going to say here it is, right? So here's the business card. I'm going to change the border to say there it is. You might want to do it in the other way around. So now it's going to find the information of that card, right? So full name, uh, choose correct matches. These details are uh, can be edited later. So full name, yes. Job title, yes. Email, yes. Phone number and website. That's all the information on that card. So final review, Paul Nicholson, director, the Beer Emporium. It should say .net. Uh, and save. Saving contact. And then I can go straight into add a deal, create a, create a new deal, you know, whatever it is, CCTV system. Uh, stick in a mountain, choose a date, uh, done, right? So very quickly, you can scan somebody's information, get them in your system, associate them with a deal, add the company, say they work for this company, or whatever it's going to be, right? And from just scanning, from scanning your card, you've now got their information. So you don't have to type it all in. So that, I've got another card here. So let's try it again. It's just gone really dark in my room. So let's just see how it does this one. This is Gary Rome's The Pub. <laughs> it's bizarre that the only two business cards I've got is my own and the guy who owns The Pub. Let's see. It's probably not going to pick it up because I, I should really have got into a room where there's a bit of light. So let's see here. Oh, not quite picking it up. I'm pretty sure you'll have a better experience of this than me. Oh, there you go. Card found. It's trying to. It's trying. A bit further away. Go on. There you go. Oh. Come on. Detect. There. Oh. Uh. Uh. It's just a bit too dark, isn't it? Oh. Let me help it out. Here we go. So I do think you'll have a better experience than me, and yes. People may be slagging me off saying, why didn't you go into a room where the light was proper? The fact is, it's just gone really dark outside because it's hammering down in June in Britain. So, here we go. Again, first name Gary. Job title, no it's not. Uh, so I'll just leave that unchecked. Email, uh, mobile. Oh yeah, his email's not on his business card. He's probably, knowing Gary, he probably doesn't do one. Uh, website, not on card, right? So, job title, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, not on card. Email, not on card. Website, not on card. <laughs> Poor old Gary, his business card wasn't great, was it? Uh, landlord. Email. Gary at Gary.com. So you can add information that's not there. Website grove.com. Save. And that'll add that contact. And again, you can go in and do it, add a deal or add a company, whatever you need to do. So I just want to show you quickly how easy it is to use the business scanner to find um, contact information from a card.